Hey guys, this is a new introductory tutorial for Magic version 2. Our last official tutorial was for Magic version 1, so this will show you the updated interface and guide you through some of the things you'll probably want to do when using Magic for the first time. I'm not going to go into any unnecessary details just to keep things quick, so if you have any questions, please visit our forums. The link is in the description. We generally don't like to answer questions on YouTube because it's not a great platform for us to get into technical details, but if you visit our forums, we'll be very happy to answer any questions you have. So anyway, when you run Magic, you'll get a screen that looks like this, and the way you get started creating visuals is by right-clicking anywhere in the main window area here, and it will bring up a menu of all the effects you can add. In Magic, these effects are called modules, and this menu contains over 200 modules. We're going to start by adding the waveform module, which is here in the geometry menu. So now the waveform module has been added, and you can see that in the output window down here, which is called the Magic window, the waveform is responding to my voice as I talk into the microphone. And this is a nice little example of how easy it is to create audio reactive visuals in Magic. If you're someone who wants to use Magic for live situations, like clubs or concerts or parties, all you have to do is go into full screen mode by selecting Window, Magic Window Options, Toggle Full Screen, or the easy way is to use the keyboard shortcut Control F on Windows, Command F on Mac. Now you get a nice full screen window, which you can send through a projector or any other type of large display. And you can entertain your audience while the waveform responds to whatever sound or music is playing nearby. You can get rid of this status information down here in the corner by pressing Control I. Okay, so for now I'm going to exit full screen mode by pressing Control F and go back to the main window. At this point, you may be asking, what if I want to create visuals for a song that's already been recorded rather than live microphone input? Well, that's really easy. All you have to do is open the Input Sources window here, and then click the Add Files button here, and select the file you want to add. I've set up this folder so it only has one file for the purpose of this tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and open that one. You can see that it shows up down here, and I'm going to press the play button so you can listen to it for a few seconds. Okay, there you go. Now, you may have noticed that the waveform is still reacting to my voice through the microphone and not to the file. That's because the waveform module is set up to use source zero here, which is configured to use microphone zero down here in the input sources window. So to change that, it's really easy. All I have to do is click in this box and select the file that I added earlier. Now you'll see that the waveform has stopped responding to my voice. And if I press the play button, you'll see that the sound file is what's controlling the waveform. Okay, so most people want to use sound files in Magic because they want to create music videos and movies that they can upload to YouTube or other video sharing sites. It's really easy to make a movie in Magic. All you have to do is select the file menu and then the export movie option. A dialog box appears with a bunch of settings. We're not going to change any of the settings for now. We're just going to click in this box so we can enter our desired file name. I'm going to call that test for now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click the Go button. Now you can see that the movie is being created because the frames are being rendered in this window. There's some status information being updated here and a progress bar moving forwards. This is a bit of a slow computer, so if we were to sit here and let the entire movie export, it would take about 3 hours and 14 minutes. Obviously, we're not going to do that, so I'm just going to go ahead and click the Stop button for now, and then Done to get out of this uh, export box. And I'll go into my desktop just to show you that the file has been created. Um, but I'm going to double-click on this file, which is identical. I just created it earlier because it runs for a little bit longer. So 
So that's the standard Windows Media Player, and you can see that it looks identical to what we saw in Magic. I'll just uh, go ahead and play it one more time. So now obviously you can upload this file right to YouTube if you want, or you can load it into your favorite video editing software if you want to edit it further. So that's really it, a very quick overview of how Magic works and the things that you can do with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little introductory tutorial. We'll be posting a follow-up tutorial pretty soon that goes into a bit more detail, and then after that, some more advanced tutorial videos. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, please visit our forums. We really look forward to hearing from you, and thanks very much.